There are things that are really important to us, obviously. The first thing that's really important to us is finding a leader who can help us in the impacting of people's lives. Now, obviously, that's your team, your staff, but it can even be our department. With all the things we do together as a department, it's great if our coaches can impact each other's lives. Iron sharpens iron. And then our university. We would love it for our coach to impact our university. You got an idea of what that is like last night with our men's basketball game. But our football coaches had the opportunity to be on ESPN First Look, to be in the Miami Herald, the Chicago Tribune, the Orlando Sentinel. And with a trip up to Nashville and, and Athens, Georgia coming up, uh, our football coach will have an opportunity to represent us at the highest levels. Again, more in opportunity to impact people's lives. When this position opened up, there was an incredible outpouring from a number of groups. First, athletes that Jamie Chadwell had recruited to Charleston Southern. Then athletes, football players that he had coached at Charleston Southern and then staff members that he had worked with at Charleston Southern. And then people in our convention in South Carolina and the upstate that are obviously involved with Charleston Southern and North Greenville University. The outpouring was incredible that this person, Jamie Chadwell, had impacted people's lives, that that was a part of what he stood for as an individual. That means a great deal to us moving forward. The other thing we look for in our head coaches is a proven track record of success in their sport. When you look at what Jamie has done and you look at during his tenure at our university the, as a recruiting coordinator and assistant head coach, we reached unprecedented heights. A conference championship in the Big South, a 9-2 and two season with a top 25 ranking, just incredible success. From here he moved on to North Greenville University where he led that program in three years to the highest level. One thing we've talked to our team about in the past few days is being at the highest level of our division and the playoffs. Coach Chadwell has built the program to reach the highest levels and to be in the Division II playoffs. So it is with a great pleasure that I introduce to you the head football coach of Charleston Southern University, Coach Jamie Chadwell. It's, um, it's very um, exciting for me to be here. I want to thank Dr. Hunter, Dr. Brewer, Coach Small uh, for this wonderful opportunity. It has been a whirlwind for me the last week. Um, Sunday I had my second child, a little girl. I uh, officially accepted this job on Tuesday. Uh, I tried to pack to get down here as quick as I can. Lost my luggage. So uh, it's, been, it's been crazy. Um, but I wanted to be here. This place is special. It has a special place in my heart. The people here are special to me. Uh, and the opportunity for me and my family to come back home uh, where we got married, where we had so many good friends, had such a great church, and was able to coach so many great people, couldn't pass it up. I wish my, my wife could be here and celebrate. She's probably happier than anybody that we're coming back home. Um, and uh, she is in spirit. I know she's, uh, she's watching now, been praying about this opportunity for a long time. Uh, when we first were here, we bought a house, and uh, we never sold it, because our ultimate goal was to one day be here in this position. Uh, that, was my, that was my vision, that was our vision as a family, uh, and thankfully the Lord allowed that opportunity to happen. I want you to know that number one thing in my life is Jesus Christ. He's the reason I'm here. He's the reason why I do what I do, to have an impact on young people. I feel like that's my goal in life is to impact young people as much as I can. 
And to be able to do it at a university that puts Jesus first in everything they do, that has a quality of education, and most importantly is in the beautiful town of Charleston, South Carolina, you can't pass that up. There's a handful of schools in the country that play at the level we do, that offer a quality of education, and that offer a Christian environment. But none of them can do that in the manner that we do in this city. That's why we're going to be the best. It's because we have all those things to offer. And that's why I wanted to be here. And there's people around this country that when you can say, hey, this is the number one, this is the number one uh, tourist destination in the country, you're going to get a top 100 education, and you're going to be around people that are intentional with their Christian faith, that they want you to grow spiritually. I don't know why anybody wouldn't want to be in an environment like that. That's why I'm here. The thing I want you to know about me and our coaching staff, we're going to coach with passion, and we're going to be intentional with our relationships. Uh, some of I can see, the, I guess these guys in our gold are our football players. Our number one job is to love you, and we're going to do that every day. We're going to be intentional with the way we get to know you, and we're going to love you and have passion for you. And that's what our coaching staff is going to do. Your job is to love each other and to love this university. That's your only job. And then we'll play with passion, we'll play with energy. And that's what we're going to do every day, starting at 1 o'clock, I think, is our weightlifting times. So we'll be going from there. Um, the thing that this team that you're going to see is, our, is, is I'm the head coach. We're going to engage this community. We're going to engage the student body. I know this place is packed on game nights for basketball. That stadium is going to be the same thing on Saturday. We want the student body. To, this is their team. This is their university. We want them to be proud of what this team is going to accomplish. And that doesn't happen overnight. It's taken these young, these young men here have got to get involved with them in the, in the classrooms, over in the dorms. This head coach has got to be over there being involved. And that's going to happen. Because we want them to enjoy this opportunity. We want these players to enjoy the opportunity and love your school. This is the best place in America. I believe that. If it wasn't, I wouldn't be here. This is, this is where I wanted to be. This is where my family wants to be. And there's 25 student athletes across this southeast region that want to be here. And we're going to go out and find them every day. Just philosophy-wise, so you guys know this important uh, to me is um, – we want to bring as many South Carolina kids to this campus as we can. I want to recruit the state of South Carolina hard, specifically the, uh, the low country. There's great football coaches here. There's great football, high school football programs. Uh, we want to make Charleston Southern the place to be for this level. What, what place can you go where you get a chance to play Vanderbilt, Georgia, Florida, Miami, get a top-notch education and be in an environment where you got a chance to grow spiritually? and be able to live in Charleston. That's an unbelievable. And so we want everybody in South Carolina to understand this is the place we want you to be. So I'm going to be heavy doing that as we recruit other areas. But most importantly, uh, my number one job is I got, I got to recruit my guys here. You got to get to know me. Uh, and I'm going to do that from day one, that we're going to get together, spend time together, and get to know each other. I'm a pretty easy guy to get along with, unless you do something wrong. And then after that, then we'll, we'll go from there. But. I can't tell you from the bottom of my heart how special this moment is for me. I'll be truthful. Um, Proverbs 16.9 says, The man um, makes plans in his heart, but the Lord determines his steps. And the Lord's determined my step to be back at Charleston Southern. Um, every time I've had a child, I've got a new job. So I told my wife we're done for a while. So we're done for a while. So um, I'm, I'm excited to be a Buccaneer. I was telling Coach, I've been a Buccaneer about half my life, my adult, half adult life. I've been in blue and gold. It's the best color that looks on me. And I intend to keep it that way. I intend us to put some football banners up to say Big South Champions. And that's our mindset. That's our immediate goal. We want to be Big South Champions. Been a part of that here that was special. It's been done. It can, it can be done again. And that's our goal from the get-go. Once, once we win the Big South Championship, we're in the playoff dance. We're going to become uh, ultimately national champions. That's the ultimate goal from day one. And that's how we're going to work hard every day to do that. But most importantly, we're going to work hard every day to, to build personal relationships with each other and represent this university in a great manner. I guess I need to take some questions here, Coach Simone. Or... Okay. Go Bucks!
A number of people have called uh, expressing their regrets for not being able to make it here today, um, and we appreciate that. Uh, but there's one key person uh, that Coach has already given a little bit of a shout out to, uh, Paula Callahan. So, Maz, we want to welcome you back to the CSU family. We're giving this to your husband, but this is for you. Okay. So, uh, welcome back to Charleston and welcome back to Charleston Southern. Thank you, guys. Again, thank you all for coming. We appreciate it a great deal. Bye-bye.